I am Dustin Johnson from the Tax Institute, and I am here to tell you about moving expenses. Moving expenses are deductible if the reason for the move is because of a change in your principal workplace. Two tests must be met. The first is the distance test. For this test, your new principal workplace must be at least 50 miles farther from your old home than your old principal workplace was. For example, if you live just five miles away from your current job location, which will be your old job location if you move, your new job location must be at least 55 miles away from your current home. If you've just joined the workforce, or rejoined it after not working for a while, then your new job must be at least 50 miles from your former residence. The second is the time test. For this test, you must work at least 39 weeks at your new job location during the 12 months after the move. If you're self-employed, you just meet this test and work at least 78 weeks during the first 24 months after the move. Unlike the job search expense deduction, it isn't necessary to work in the same trade or business to deduct moving expenses. In fact, you can move to a new location without having a job lined up at all. However, your move must be in connection with the start of work at the new location. Generally, that means the work must start within one year of the move. Therefore, to deduct moving expenses, someone who is unemployed and seeking a new job in a new location would need to find one at the new location within a year. If you qualify to deduct moving expenses, what exactly can you deduct? Qualified moving expenses include the cost of transportation and up to 30 days of storage after the move for your household and other personal belongings. Deductible moving expenses also include travel from the old home to the new home for yourself and your family. Fortunately, you don't have to travel together to deduct the travel expenses. Travel includes lodging, but not meals, and is limited to one trip per person. If you're driving, you can deduct either out-of-pocket gas and oil expenses or the standard mileage rate for moving. Notice that temporary living expenses, house hunting expenses, and the cost of new furnishings are not deductible. Additionally, only unreimbursed expenses are deductible. If you have qualified expenses your employer didn't cover, you may deduct the excess. Expenses that are deductible if you paid them yourself are tax-free to you if paid by your employer. They're shown in box 12 of your W-2 next to code P. If your qualified expenses were more than your employer paid, you may deduct the excess. But the good news is that moving expenses are an above-the-line deduction, so you don't need to itemize your deductions to claim them. The deduction is claimed on Form 3903. Let's hope this deduction helps move your tax return into a refund.